Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's pedal review, we are going to be taking a look at the Dunlop UV1 Univibe effect pedal. Coming up. All right guys, so this pedal is built like a tank, literally. It's made out of steel and it's about a brick and a half in weight size. Now the pedal is built with the exact same setup as the original late 60s, early 70s Shania Univibe, which is the speed, the volume, and the intensity. With the option of choosing between chorus and vibrato, on and off with a slight modification. If you look on top, it has the option to choose between vintage and modern tone. Oh, and a quick reminder, this pedal runs on only an 18 volt power adapter. There's no batteries involved and you have to have that 18 volt power adapter. If not, it's not gonna work. So that's just a heads up. So enough talk, let's go ahead and plug this pedal in and see if it sounds like the original iconic Univibe pedal. Plug it in. All right, so the guitar of choice is my 90s Dan Electro U1 guitar. The reason I'm using this guitar is because it has a lipstick pickup, which gives you a nice twangy tone. Okay, so this is how the guitar sounds on a clean signal. The speed at 12 leave the volume at about 5 and the intensity at 12 and we're going to start off with the vibrato and this setting is with the vintage off So now we're going to turn on the vintage tone. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, add the speed to about three o'clock. And let's turn off the vintage setting. Now with the vintage setting. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some more speed to about three o'clock. And let's turn off the vintage setting. Alright guys, so now let's go ahead and uh, turn on the vintage mode. I'm not going to lie, that actually sounds cool. I like the vintage mode more than the modern, but I don't know. You guys comment below. Do you guys like the modern or the vintage? For me, it's got to be the vintage. All right, so now let's move on to adding the intensity to about three o'clock. 
Activate the vintage mode. Now let's go to my favorite effect, which is the chorus. Cause that's why we came here for, right? For the chorus, not really the vibrato, unless you did come for the vibrato, but I like this pedal more for the chorus, the univibe. So we're starting everything on 12, except for the volume. So we're gonna start off on the modern tone. <laughs> So I'm not going to play it the way it's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and try the vintage mode. vintage mode the modern is cool but i feel like with the vintage mode you get more of the effects i don't know like i said before comment below which of the two modes you like let's go ahead and increase the speed to about three o'clock <laughs> Vintage mode is off. So now let's try the vintage mode. So sorry about that, guys. It's just this pedal is so cool that it's hard to keep track of time. Um, now let's go ahead and increase the intensity to about 3 o'clock. And now we're in modern mode. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the vintage mode. I love how it has that nice little wave patterns. So now let's go ahead and decrease the speed to about 12, leaving the volume and the intensity the same. And this is the modern mode. So it sounds pretty watery, it's pretty cool. Now let's move on to the vintage mode. Let's just go crazy and uh, max out everything. So this is on modern mode. Now vintage mode. It's an extremely fun pedal to have. If you mix it up with maybe a delay or an echo or even a reverb, you can have some cool uh, tone blends going on. So what I like about this pedal is it comes really close to the original. The chorus is a thick, creamy bass type of tone, sort of like a rotating speaker. And the vibrato is a warbly pitch bendy type of effect. So basically, it just bends the pitch up and down, sort of like a warped vinyl record. So my overall thoughts on this pedal is the pros is that it has silent switching. It gives you the option to choose between a classic or a vintage type of tone, a built-in speed control. Another plus is that it's quality built. Even, even this is metal. So everything is built to last. Now the cons is the fact that you must and only use an 18 volt adapter and that you cannot use batteries, which really sucks. Another con is that it does not have the foot controller. It would have been nice if Dunlop would have included the foot controller with the pedal, sort of like a set, but it doesn't, it's sold separately. And the last is that it does have some sort of noise. It's not too bad of a noise, it's considered the lowest noise possible, but there's still some noise. But overall, it's a great pedal to have. And so there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and liked my guitar licks. Don't forget to like and comment below what are your thoughts on this pedal. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, rock that notification bell to be up to date on future videos on music, gear, lessons, guitars and guitar blogs. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.